Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so today I figured I'd do a video. Um, I haven't done one in a while. Um, so um, this is just a beat I made. Um, it's a Cardo slash Drummer Boy type beat. It's kind of an, got an R&B feel to it. Um, anyways, I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, <clears throat> basically, I heard um, I was watching this Louis V video where he uh, collaborated with Cardiac or whatever. And I heard um, at one point in the video this uh, was Khalifa song that was that was a very short snippet of it that was obviously produced by uh, by Drum Boy and it kind of inspired me to make a, a kind of beat like that. So, um, anyways, here it is. Um, I'll walk you through right now. So the melody I started out with was a pad. I wanted to use a nice smooth pad, and uh, here it is right here. So that's what I started out with, and then I um, I added on um, some little pluck sounds. So as you can tell, it's going to be a pretty subtle, kind of nice beat. Um, and here's a the synth. There's going to be this is basically the next thing I added. It was a kind of supposed to be like a chorus synth. Well, it's not a really dominant sound, but here it is. Oh, I never wait. Never mind. Sorry, this is the ARP. Never mind. Scratch what I said. This is just the ARP. And if you're curious, if you're curious, that sound is the propane arpeggiator in the Dance Volume 2 expansion of Nexus. Um, everybody should have that. Um, if you don't, I don't know. Um, and this is this is the lead synth right here. This is like a guitar sound I got out of a Johnny Giuliano silent sound bank. And the reason I didn't um, have it make like the reason I didn't overlap the sound so it'd be like a porta lead was because it it's very wobbly when you do it like that it's it's not as good of a sound so I just had it cut right when the notes stopped. Um, and this is a uh, a little another little synth hit I added in there. And that's that. Um, this is a uh, little choir voice I put in. Um, this is a um, this is a bell you get with silent. This comes with the default silent. Actually, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Um, this is from a Superstar O sound bank that you hear me use a lot. Um, the sound is called X Files. Um, if you're curious, the silent sound bank that this is in is uh, the Volume Four. Um, you can probably get it on his website. This is a uh, this is a uh, string pattern. Uh, that's kind of the dominant sound of the song. And that's that. Um, that's the melody. Uh, this is the bass. I used a basic trap sub bass because you don't really hear Drum Boy using Lex Luger basses a lot or semi digital or whatever. Um, here it is. <clears throat> But 
Um, that's the base. Uh, this is the kick. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the I'm not gonna show you the whole kick pattern. That's too much time. Uh, this is the clap I used. This is the uh, this is a reverb clap that comes at the end of the snare. I'm not going to show that, but uh, here's the hi hat pattern. Um, this is a um, this is another hi hat pattern I put in. And um, I want to make the hi hat swing a little more, um, other than just have it be really fast, like on a Lex Luger beat. Uh, I want him to really kind of flow with the beat a little more. Um, and really, when I make my hi hats, um, I just kind of go with what I'm thinking. So like, I play it, and if I feel like you know this should be like a stutter right here, then I put it there. Um, I don't just make it without listening to it. I always try to make sure that it flows with the melody and stuff. So I always kind of play it by ear. Uh, this is the snare. Uh, very typical drum boy snare. Uh, this is the uh, cymbal. Um, open I hat. You get the idea. I put it on the lower note instead of the C5 note. Um, just to make it sound a little deeper and cooler, sounded better like that. Uh, this is a cowbell. That's a rim shot. This is a crash. And this is the uh, rise effect. So that's. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, and I, the reason I called it a Cardo type beat was because of the melody. Uh, the melody is very chill. It's very soft. It's very you know ambient and nice. Uh, it's not aggressive. It's not dark. It's not loud. Um, it's not like an anthem melody. It's just very chill melody, kickback, uh, kind of R&B like. Um, so that's basically that. Um, the mastering I'll go through real fast. So. Sorry if the beat might lag a little bit. I'm on I'm not on my regular sound output thing. So um but anyways I use Maximus for my uh I use Maximus for my uh, mastering and uh, for the low uh, usually I have the lows turned up really loud or high up so you know because I always want my kicks to knock along with you know my bass and everything. But on this one I didn't want my bass to be really loud and you know obnoxious because that's not what I that was, that's not what my goal was. It's kind of supposed to be like an R&B chill track. It's not supposed to, you know, vibrate your car or anything. So I just wanted the melody and the drums to stand out and the kick to be kind of soft. Um, but also to be noticeable because it is an important part. You know, every song should have bass, in my opinion. Um, the mid, um, well, my opinion is that, you know, I, I always like to have bass in my in my songs. I don't, I don't really say that every song should have a bass line, but I like my songs too. Um, the mids I turned down because I think the mid kind of controls the melody of the song. Um, so I don't want the melody to be a dominant factor of the song. I want it to, because everybody hears the melody, what's more important is the drums. You want the drums to stand out louder than your melody, so I always turn the mids down. Um, and the highs I have a little higher, a little higher than the mids, not too much because uh, the hi hats were getting a bit loud, so I wanted to turn the highs. Um, not too high above the mids, but they're still low, but they're still higher than the mids. Um, I actually, I didn't mean to have the compressor on the highs or the master. That was my mistake, actually, but, um, usually I leave the compressor off, um, on the master and the highs. Um, so, so right now this is weird. I didn't mean to leave it on, but I did anyways, so it ended up working out just fine. But, um, but yeah, usually I leave these off. Um, and a lot of times, you know, I learned this in a Johnny Giuliano video, you know, you want to turn down your melody 
you know, like you see how my drums are normal, normal volume as well. My melodies are lower because you don't want your melody, if you have your melodies too loud and you try to have your bass just, you want to just crunch your bass in and have it, you know, overwhelming you know, your speakers. Well, actually, I'm not really saying this right. Basically, you want your bass to be clean no matter what. Um, if you try, if you have a loud melody where you're just playing the melody and it's going around here, then you're not going to have any room for your drums. Um, that's why I always turn the melody down and then have the drums up so the drums can stand out without distorting. Um, if you know what I mean, that's why. That's that's why I turn. That's why you know leave the mids down, keep the lows kind of high, along with the highs higher, and turn on the melodies here, and just so the sound, the song is end up being quieter as a result of that. I turn up the master channel um, up a little bit so you can the beat is still loud. So it's basically that. Um, um, I'm gonna be posting this beat on SoundClick um, like I do all of my stuff. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description to the song. And if you guys can just do me a favor and listen to it on there, um, that'd be great. <clears throat> because the more plays I get, the higher I reach in the charts. And actually, I've been getting a lot closer lately. I think my um, my best song has gotten like 80th out of like in the Dirty South um, genre out of like I don't know. Um, out of I think it's like 30,000 or something. So um, if you guys can just do me a favor and listen to it, uh, that'd be great. Um, it's also a free download. So you guys can download it for free, but that doesn't mean that it's like a you, you can use it for promotional use. It, excuse me, it's only for um, it's only for uh, listening and auditioning purposes. Um, if you want to use it for promotional use, you'd have to get the lease, and that is basically an untagged version. So um, again, the lease is only fifteen dollars if you're interested. But um, in the meantime, just go ahead, listen to it on SoundClick, and download it for free. And uh, that's basically that. And I'll uh, see you guys later.